this is Terry, and we're so excited that you joined us today. We are going to learn about installing a roller ball in a Young Living oil bottle. But first, let's see how not to install a roller ball. Would you like okay. to show us, Angela? Yeah, confession okay. time. So the first time I ever installed a roller ball, I did not know how to do it. That's why we're doing this how-to video, so no one will make the mistake that I did. I decided I would take my Vitamix blender and I would use the plunger and I would <laughs> grab the oil, stick it on the top, and <laughs> install the roller ball. Not such a good idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea. It did go in, but I, I did have, you know, spilt oil. So you don't want to spill your oil. You want to conserve it. No. And um, so Terry, okay. please show us Let how to install. Let me show you how to do this. Okay. <laughs> First of all, you take your oil and it can be the smaller bottle or the large bottle. Um, I am a, a roller ball freak. I love roller balls. I buy them by the 10 pack and put them on everything. You can move your roller balls around from bottle to bottle. Um, but this is Digize. What you do is you take the little plastic tip off and this black cap. Oh, actually, if you want it to be pretty, um, take the white, the white ring that comes with the um, the plastic lid. Right. Off. Hold on, let me get this off. Can you help me? I know that it's not this hard, I promise. Okay. Okay. It's slick. Yes, it was. <laughs> Hold on. Got it. Okay. Take the okay. plastic ring off. That is just for cosmetic reasons, okay, girls? And we all know we like that our oils to be the prettiest. Okay, so you put the roller on top. Now this fits on the large bottle and the small exactly. bottle. Exactly. You take the okay. black lid that comes with it. In the starter kit, you get a roller ball and a lid. Um, so you can practice. And then you tighten the lid until you hear it snap, until it's all the way tightened. And then you open it up. Did you hear it snap? No, I did not hear it snap. But it's on. Okay. Usually you hear a snap. And hold on. You need my plunger? No, I don't need <laughs> your plunger. She is ridiculous. Okay, so anyway, it is on and it's it's good. It's not spilling. It's tight. And um, the roller ball can be moved. So you might want to save the plastic tip if you want to put it back on. Um, when my large bottles are empty, I save them and take the plastic wrapper off or the label to make my own blends. Okay. And pop roller balls on them, whatever. Okay, uh, so why would you want to put a roller ball on a bottle of oil to begin with? Well, because of there are four different ways to use an essential oil and applying it topically is one of the most popular ways. Okay. So um, it's just an easy way to apply it topically, to rub okay. it wherever you want to rub it. If you're gonna rub it on the bottom of your feet or on your belly button or on your head, um, wherever. Okay. So it just goes on smoothly. Yeah, that's great so, for bug bites too. Oh, yes, when you're using mm -hmm. purification for bug mm -hmm. bites. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's how to install a roller ball. Nice. So come on over to the starter kit tab, and we will teach you how to go ahead and order your premium starter kit that has a roller ball in it. Or if you would like to know my three favorite oils to snap a roller ball onto, um, click the next video. Thanks so much for watching. I know that it's not this hard, I promise. Okay. Okay. It's like, <laughs> don't ask me that. It's just how to put it on. That's all you need to know, okay? <laughs> <laughs>